there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Chaitan here from Double Cube, and welcome back to a brand new tutorial and in this tutorial you're going to be learning to create an esports style text effect in Illustrator. Now um, a couple of months back I created, a I made a tutorial, uploaded a tutorial on a similar thing of creating a very different looking uh, mascot esports style text effect and uh, to be honest I'm really happy with that video because it's got a lot of views, a lot of likes, a lot of comments, a lot of success, uh, you know it's helped me you know a, a lot more on my channel so I thought making another tutorial on uh, the same concept uh, but with a completely different look so as you can see on the screen that's what we're going to be creating and uh yeah so let's get started guys so so here i am an illustrator and uh this, this is the final version of what we're going to be creating i'm going to be doing the same thing i'm going to keep this as a reference so i can easily color pick the colors when i want them and uh let's get started so dimensions 1280 by 720 and i just created a black color background so let's get started. i'm going to press t on my keyboard to get the text tool i'm going to type in the word esports oops uh, eSports and I'm not quite sure what font I use but let's just pick a nice font so probably motion control new light bold that's the kind of the font I've kind of found somewhere so I'm gonna go ahead and just scale this up and uh, we can't see it so obviously we could go ahead and change the color so this is where I'm gonna use the color so I'm gonna click on the press I and my keyboard to get the eye picker to, uh, the eyedropper tool and click oh we got to select this first and then yeah there we go okay we're gonna have to edit this a little bit so we're gonna set this to a capital S there we go so once we have this you want to go ahead and go to object and choose expand and click on OK and that's gonna create each individual object into a single path and I'm gonna come here to make sure you're on the direct the selection tool and you're gonna come over here and click on these two buttons which is align horizontal align vertical but make sure that your align to artboard is checked on once you have that let me just scale this up a little bit and we're gonna move this up and uh, that's looking really 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 cool Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, make sure all the parts are selected. I'm going to go to Effect, uh, Distort and Transform and choose Free Distort. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the right top corner a little bit inside and the left corner also al almost same inside and uh, I'm going to click on OK. And if you guys have another better way of doing this, please do let me know because uh, it would you know, really help me out a lot. So yeah, just comment below if you guys know there's a better way of doing this. I'm going to click on OK and we're going to have something that looks like this. Now to apply this, what we want to do is we're going to go to Object and choose Expand Appearance and now, you know, it's going to look like so. Alright, so let's see, what else do we need? Uh, yeah, okay, we can start off. So the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and grab ourselves a ellipse tool. So let's just hold on the rectangular tool until the drop down comes, the ellipse tool. And I'm going to go ahead and just create a circle like so. And make sure that this is in the center. So we want to center this horizontally. Uh, looking good. We're going to select send horizontal this as, I'm sorry, what the hell am I saying? We want to position this horizontally and vertically also. Okay, maybe not vertically. Let's just horizontally do it. Like so. Okay, and now we have this. I'm going to reduce the size of this a little bit more, you know, compact yeah like so so it covers a good amount of text and what we're gonna do now is with this all the text selected I'm gonna go to object I'm gonna path and I'm gonna choose offset path and I'm gonna click on preview and that's gonna give me an offset I'm gonna increase the meter limit to probably around 10 and the offset I'm gonna set this to negative 4 right maybe not negative 4 maybe negative 3 and I'm gonna click on OK now once we have that we want to select right click and choose ungroup and we want to select only the ones which we selected the inner parts right and also select this one the ellipse that we created and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to choose in the pathfinder selection which is divide now click on that now if you don't have the pathfinder you can go to window and choose pathfinder and once we have that right click and choose ungroup and i'm going to select the circle and delete it and i'm going to go ahead and just chop off all these parts that we don't want want uh, I think this is this is pretty good. Yeah, we can delete all these ones. So we basically have two sets of you know pieces. Now uh, I'm going to select the ones at the bottom. So just select all of this. Hold down Shift when you're selecting, and we're going to choose this color right over here. So I'm going to press I to get the eyedropper and just click, and that's going to fill it up with that color. And as you can see, we have this cool effect. Now there are some pieces on the top also. We can just select all that and delete it because we don't want that. 
and that's looking really cool right now. So the next thing we want to do is we want to select all of this again, and uh, oh, we have some stuff which we do not want. So let's just get rid of that. A couple of unnecessary stuff. Yeah. Oh, all looking good. So you're gonna select all of this that we have right now, and I'm gonna make a copy by pressing Control C, Control F, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of this to black. Click on OK. Well, let's actually just set it to white so we can actually see it, and then I'm gonna right click and choose Arrange and choose Send to Back, and I'm gonna bring it down a couple of pixels. So let's say like one, two, three, four, four pixels. Looking good. Let's do the same thing. Let's select all of this again. Uh, Right, just hold on, just select, hold down shift and select everything and make a copy, pressing control C, control F, bring that down as well four times, one, two, three, four, right click, arrange, send to back and this time we want to choose a different color. So let me get the eyedropper tool and uh, select uh, this color, that's, that's the color we want and uh, let's go ahead and zoom in. Now we want this to be a different color, so uh, let's select this one, the, the white ones that we want. Make sure you select the ones properly because you don't want to have any unnecessary color change and press i and i want to click on this one All right there we go so we have something that looks like this which is looking already so super dope right this is already looking so kick-ass um all right so the next thing we want to do is we want to get off and get these spikes but before we do that we want to get the second text so let's grab ourselves the text tool let's type in the word team select it uh, change the color okay let's actually scale this first and uh, hold on shift and then we can't see it so we're gonna go ahead and change the color to this color that we have all right we have team let's just zoom in and uh, we can go ahead and choose object expand click on ok let's just scale this up pretty fat like so and we're gonna move this in the horizontally uh, in the vertically and let's just move this up slightly like so looking good looking great and now we're gonna go to uh, effect to start and choose free to start and this time we're going to do it the other way around so move this the top part outside like so and click on ok uh, i think i'm going to do that again because i didn't get it quite properly so free to start we're going to move this one whoops to the right like so looking good move this one also to the right which is looking pretty cool click on ok go to object and choose uh what is that uh, expand appearance uh, this is looking fine. This is looking really fine right now. I kind of like it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is we'll go ahead and create up these spikes. So before we create the spikes, what we're going to do is we want to select the white, the some the yellow one. Hold down shift and select everything, and we're going to go to object, path, offset path, and we're going to go ahead and set this to twenty. Uh, let's say let's say thirty pixels offset, and click on preview and click on OK. And we're going to come here and choose the one which says Unite. So everything is a single object. Right click, Arrange, Center Back, and everything is at the back. But you want to change the color to this the second blue one. Yeah, there we go. That's the color that we want. Looking great. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press P on my keyboard to get the pen tool. I'm going to come here, click on this corner, and I'm going to go ahead and just drag out a line like so. Hold down Shift. Uh, so it intersects properly. You're gonna come here directly to the center and come over here and we're gonna go ahead and come here uh, Close this up and close this up. So we have something that looks like this and I want to make a copy by object by right-clicking going to transform choose reflect Make sure you choose a preview so you can see it and click on copy and we're gonna go ahead and drag this over to the other side like so and we're gonna select these two and we're gonna go choose unite right-click transform uh, sorry arrange and choose send to back okay so now we have something that looks like this now we can select this set and this set and merge them so let's choose merge so now we have one single object one single background we can also go to object uh, path offset path and choose an offset of probably 20 uh, click on ok and this time we can choose the color to uh, I don't know yellow yeah yellow okay uh, maybe it's too harsh, so let's get rid of that. Let's go to object, path, offset path. So maybe 15 this time. Click on OK. Uh, change the color to yellow. Yeah, that's looking looking pretty little better. We have the small issue. Let's just get rid of that. So press P on your keyboard and the minus button, which is going to give you the minus sign. Click on any anchor point, and that's going to get rid of that point. 
I'm going to do the same thing over here, get rid of these points as well. I'm going to select this point and just manually just move them so, you know, it kind of fits well, right? And it's looking super cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is get these spikes. So I'm going to press P on my keyboard and uh, click here on the corner. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to eyeball it and just place them like so. And a very slight movement. Uh, and then click, all right? And then you're going to press I on my keyboard and to get, change the color to this color. And we have something that looks like this. Looking really nice already. And then we're going to go ahead and make a copy by holding on Alt, click, and then just drag it over to the side. Hold down Shift. All right? Looking good. And you can actually go and select this and move this up. So press E on your keyboard to get the direct selection tool. Or you can come here to get the direct selection tool. You can select on this last point. Hold down Shift, move it up once, and hold down Shift, move it to the left. Hold down Shift, move it up once, and hold down Shift, move it to the left. Something that looks like this. Uh, let's actually do that only twice. So we can move this up now. All right. Uh, that's up to you how you want to place it. Let's make a copy of this again. Make sure you select it with the direct selection. Hold on Alt, hold on Shift and just drag it over to the side. Looking good. And press I on your keyboard. We can select the point. Move this up, move this left, move this up. Something like this, you know, you know, it kind of goes in a different order. Looking good. And once you have this, we can select all of these. Make sure you're selecting it with the direct selection, which is the V key, which is the V tool. Sorry, which the shortcut is V to select the selection tool. And you can select this, select this, select this, and then we can go make a copy, right clicking, going to transform, choose reflect, make a copy, click on OK. Go ahead and just drag all of this, oops, uh, right click, uh, transform, reflect, make a copy, and then just drag all of this over to the side, hold down shift, and you can just place them wherever you want to. So I'm going to probably stick with this. For the T, I'm going to move this over right to the edge, the corner. Now well, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see. All right, better. You can take the R for also and just move it over to the side. Looking cool, looking great, looking dope. So the next thing I want to do is uh, let's make a copy of this by pressing right click, uh, arrange, uh, sorry, transform, reflect. And this time I'm going to set this to horizontal and then click uh, on oh, copy to make a copy. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, actually let's just bring this down like over here all right over here and i'm going to do is what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just select the last anchor point on the top corner and just move this over so you know it kind of aligns properly let's do the same thing so let's press v on our keyboard right click transform and choose uh, reflect this time we want it vertically make a copy and you're going to go ahead and move this over to this edge right and uh, i'm going to press P on my keyboard. Uh, let's actually not do that. Let's get the rectangular tool. And I'm going to go ahead and just create a nice, simple, you know, like a small box. Like so. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it is too thick. We can reduce it. Okay, it is a too, little, bit, little bit too thick. So we can just reduce that. So let me just bring this down. Okay, looking good. And uh, we can make a copy of this by holding down Alt. And uh, we can move this over to this side. Hold down Shift. And you can just pop it in right there, right? Awesome. Um, now let's select this one again. Hold on Alt to make a copy. So you want to click, hold on Alt, click, hold, sorry, you want to click, hold on Alt, and just drag a copy. Hold on Shift as well. And you're going to move it over to this side. Yeah, like so. And but this time you want to go ahead and actually just, you know, bring this, whoops, select it and uh, bring it in like, so yeah just a tiny bit so we can copy this one again uh oops like select select it with the selection tool hold on alt to make a copy and move it over to this side right let's just move it over slightly in right right click uh transform and choose reflect and click on okay so that's going to reflect it over to this side We're looking pretty nice already uh let's see let's zoom in to see we're going to move this a little bit up all right, great, looking good. All right, this is nice. So now in this one, it looks a little bit different because I added a different, you know, different look to it. But that's up to you. You can go ahead and do whatever you want. I'm just teaching you guys, the, you know, like a more simple and a, you know neat way of doing it. Uh, let's just fine tune this. So let's move this over to the side. 
we can select this whoops we can select this one and this one and you can choose merge right so now it becomes more proper we can select these two and choose uh, merge there we go looking way better uh, all right so uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys really enjoyed it if you did feel free to mention that in the comment sections down below if you have any questions or requests you can always contact me on my social media links on twitter instagram or drop me an email and uh i'll see you guys in my next video so till then take care and bye bye